Imagine going seven full days with nothing but water. No food, no snacks, just water. What happens inside your body is dramatic and sometimes dangerous. Day one, the switch. Your body burns through your last meal. Blood sugar drops, hunger, irritability, and fatigue kick in as your system switches to stored energy. This is your survival mode turning on. Day two, easy fuel gone. Glycogen, your quick energy, is now empty. Your body starts burning fat and producing ketones. Your brain may feel sharper, but your metabolism slows down, making you feel cold, weak, or lightheaded. Day three, deep repair begins. Digestion takes a break. Your cells enter autophagy, a powerful cleanup node. Damaged cell parts are broken down and recycled. It's a microscopic reset, but cravings, mood swings, and bad breath become very real. Days four and five, calm on the surface. Many people report mental clarity and a sense of calm, but beneath that calm, your body is struggling. Muscles Fading begin breaking down and electrolytes, sodium, potassium, and magnesium fall dangerously low. The this is where dizziness and heart palpitations can appear. Day six, full survival mode. Your metabolism slows to its lowest point. You're burning both fat and muscle to stay alive. Your immune system weakens, and because food helps you stay hydrated, you're now losing water faster than you can replace it. Day seven, breaking point. Your organs are under stress. Your heart is working harder than it should. Weakness, brain fog, and emotional flatness hit hard. Yes, water fasting triggers real repair processes, but a full seven-day water-only fast is not a detox. It's starvation, and without medical supervision, it can be dangerous. So before anyone says, I'm going to drink only water for a week to cleanse my body, remember this. Your body already knows how to detox. It needs nutrients, minerals, and balance, not deprivation. For smarter, science-based health insights, follow AI Metatox.